Hello, I'm Lucas, I'm the TOEFL guy, and this week we are talking about TOEFL vocabulary, some GRE words. I am the TOEFL guy, not the GRE guy, but we at Magoosh do both help for the GRE and the TOEFL. So, this week I'm talking about words that could appear on the GRE or they could appear on the TOEFL and they are helpful to know for both of those tests. So if you're taking the GRE, pay attention. First, exacerbate. Now this is an interesting word because a lot of native speakers confuse it with another word, exasperate, that sounds very similar but is a different meaning. Exacerbate is to make a problem worse. So let's say, for example, you um, are taking a test and you are writing an essay. And you are writing the, a word, but you misspell the word. And so you go to erase the word, but the eraser doesn't work. It smudges, it, it makes the, um, the, the word just all gray and you can't see anything anymore and you can't write the word again and you try to write the word again but then you try and erase it again and it just exacerbates the problem. So it went from a bad problem to a worse problem because of some action that was added. Next word. Prolific. Prolific is about creating things. It's especially used for people who write or create art a lot. So, say for example, uh, Stephen King. When Stephen King first started writing books, his uh, company, his publisher, said you can only write one book each year. If you write more than one book every year, that's a problem. People will not buy that many books by one person, by one writer. So, what did he do? He took a second name. So then he started writing under the name Stephen King and another name so that he could publish books twice or three times every year because he was a very prolific writer. He created a lot of art. Next. Augment. Augment means to add to, but it's usually uh, helping when you're adding to it. So say for example, um, let's uh, imagine a woman named Janine, and Janine has a baby, and she is already working during the day, but now she needs more money because she has a child. So she gets a second job in the evening, and she works two jobs to augment her income, augment her money, so that she can make more money to support the child, to raise the child. So you can augment your income. Another word, apex. An apex is a peak. It is the very top. It is where it doesn't go any higher, where you can only go here and then back down. So let's think about um, athletes. In most sports, in soccer, in football, in basketball, in baseball, in almost every sport, hockey, the uh, athletes, the people who play the sports, they reach an age where they are the best at the sport and then they go back down. What is that age? Maybe, depending on the sport, 25 to 30 or so. And that apex is the point when they are best at the sport, but afterwards, as those athletes grow older, their health makes it more difficult for them to play the sport, and they decline. They go down. Those words and 596 others are all in our TOEFL Vocabulary Flashcard app, and I really recommend this because it's free and they are just for the TOEFL, and, well, you get those example sentences and those definitions just like here in TOEFL Tuesdays in the app. 600 advanced TOEFL words. Go to either the um, App Store for, uh, for Apple or the Play Store for Android and search TOEFL Flashcards and you'll find our flashcard app, and again, it's free. 
learn those 600 words, and come back next week. I'm going to talk a little bit more about some more vocabulary words. I'll see you soon.